Hello everyone, welcome to the Weekend Slice. We're taking a quick look at the Elder Scrolls Online Beta. I'm hoping this uh, recording goes well and it will show up on the YouTube channel fine. I'm trying to... I don't know anything about this uh, for the most part. I've seen a few gameplay videos but I don't know a lot about uh, the game. I'm not entirely certain um, what I should pick, for example, in the character creation, what everything means uh, and all that. I just have seen a bit of gameplay so far, not that much. And I happen to get, um, you know, a key for this, thanks to a friend of mine. Uh, here's a shout out to him, in case he's watching. He, he'll know who he is. And uh, Imperial, of course, Imperial, this was the big controversy. The Imperials are a class that is not available for anyone unless you pre-ordered the uh, special edition, which I think is complete. I don't know, it might be a good idea if it, if it is handled properly, it could actually sort of provide a, a gameplay element that might not be otherwise available. You know, sort of like there's a special class of characters and people in the game that are able to do things that you are not. So maybe in the PvP uh, part of the game, you'll be you know, more interested in dealing with those characters, either having them in your group or having them as enemies, you know, going against them, simply because uh, they haven't been available so far. Um, I'll just call this guy Slice. Ends uh, with the letter, okay. Let's see, I, I like the Kajit because these guys are stealth oriented but I like the red guards as well now let me just give you a bit of a background my experience with the Elder Scrolls is uh, basically I was only able to play these games uh, when Morrowind came out around the time Morrowind came out was the time when I had a computer able of running able to run one of the games from this series and the first one was Morrowind and Morrowind was for me uh, it was an interesting experience but at the time when I played it I wasn't aware of what you know RPGs like it um, were so I wasn't really prepared or educated enough to go into that world uh, you know and, and dive to the deep end and get you know in depth with all of the features and the details and the lore and I messed up the character creation a bunch of times and I played a little bit of it and then I didn't give up necessarily just my computer gave up on me <laughs> and so it, uh, it was a long time before I got into another Elder Scrolls game uh, Oblivion I have something to confess here I like it I would love it I, I love to play it but I couldn't get uh, beyond how weird the character faces looked in that game. It just felt as if something was wrong visually with them and they were disturbing. Um, I also didn't like the conversation animation they had in Fallout 3 and in Oblivion where when you wanted to talk with a character the camera would zoom in right close on their face that combined with what I felt were really awkward looking faces made that game sort of uncomfortable to play for me because I kept wanting to make fun of that instead of just letting you know myself uh, go with the story now I think I'll go with a red guard because that's what I chose when I played Skyrim which brings me to the most recent in this uh, game series which is Skyrim and which I played for quite a bit didn't finish it um, I just f 
got bored after a while to be honest because a lot a lot of the side quests were uh, very much the same thing someone forgot something in a cave and you have to go and get it back how someone that is now a shopkeeper once forgot a simple uh, piece of jewelry in the middle of a three-level dungeon filled with dwarves uh, dwarven technology and you know those uh, machine things and like I said I'm not very familiar with the lore or the history of Elder Scrolls I don't know that was beyond my understanding it just took me out of the game and that became uh, you know it, it was so repetitive that after a while I just stopped playing it but I did like what I played uh, up until the point it became repetitive I did enjoy it quite a lot and I had a lot of fun playing it and so I was you know quite happy the Daggerfall Covenant, of course, because there was a game called Daggerfall. Yep. Okay, Red Guard. Class. Templar. Call upon the powers of light and the burning sun to deal massive damage to their enemies while restoring health, magicka, and stamina to their allies. Now oh, that's interesting. Dragon Knight. Use the ancient Akaviri martial arts tradition of battle spirit and wield fearsome magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world around them. Sorcerer Nightblade. Woo. Are adventurers and opportunists with a gift for getting in and out of trouble, relying variously on stealth, blades, and speed. Nightblades thrive on conflict and misfortune trusting to their luck and cunning to survive. This this sounds nice. Okay. Oh yeah, slice is already taken. Yeah, let's go with the name of the website and of the channel. Uh, we can slice. I don't know about the performance. I have this set up in such a way where I think I will be able to record it without much uh, problem. I don't mind the way the character looked. That's fine. I'm not, you know, very uh, passionate about setting up you know, a character that looks like me. Okay, this so far looks looks really nice and I have to be honest very very Skyrim okay so I was how long was I in this cell because if I've been here for a long time why am I not like these guys suffering from severe weight loss Oh yeah, third person. Let's go with third person, because I want to see my guy. Mohawk, baby! Because that's how you roll! They don't mess with the Red Guard. Especially not one with one badass Mohawk like my guy has. Oh yeah, that's not really searching the cell, that's walking around the cell. God. Let me... Audio. Let me just take this one down a bit. Uh, I haven't changed anything. What's with the chat? Oh, okay. I'm expecting. You've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. As I was saying, I'm expecting some trouble, uh, technical, because this is a beta after all, so that's to be expected, and it's understandable. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place, yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. 
The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyrus Titanborn. Titanborn. Uh, what if you were called Lyrus Titanfall? Ha ha ha. Uh, I'm skipping some of the... You there! We are escaping! Let me open your door. What are you doing? That's it. Quickly. You must escape before the guards return. Quickly. Follow urges scene. This looks really nice. Oh, and by the way, the I weapons in the forge beyond these cells. I'm sh I'm shutting up to let this guy speak. Uh, but just a another quick note, not a big fan of m MMOs. So, um, this comes from the perspective of someone who's not a big fan of MMOs and someone who is not a huge, uh, huge fan. Uh, I need swords. Swords, buddy. Frost staff. Maces. Where's swords? There's no swords. Oh, here are some swords. Yeah, this is Skyrim. E. Press right mouse over now. Okay. Uh, I'm equipping them like this. Hold. Press to hold heavy. Okay, yeah. Don't I have like armor or something? And I'd like to take. Oh, dude, come on! I have to take a bow and arrow. I can't take anything else. Okay. I don't get any armor. That makes sense. By the way, so you know, I haven't. An enemy approaches. Strike it down. I haven't uh, really played any MMOs so far. To be honest, uh, this might be one of the longest MMO experiences I've had. I did play World of Warcraft when it first came out. Uh, I had someone give me access to the beta. Another enemy blocks the path ahead. Dispatch it quickly. I'm looking for some stamina. Okay. Skills. Um. Nearby enemies take forty two magic damage. Ah, that's an ultimate. Okay, deals 23 magic damage and heals player. That, this is what I want. Because Shadow Cloak, Stealth, yeah, not a big fan. And this... Nah. I want something that heals me back. Uh, okay. You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards. And I see you've armed yourself. Good. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Who I are you? The name's Lyris. Lyris Titanborn. I was told to find you. What? Who told you to find me? A strange figure appeared in my cell, wanted to play some games. Told me to touch him in special places. An old man in rags. The prophet. He spoke to you? 
What did he say? He said you and I need to get busy, baby. I like him tall, and I don't mind this car. It's actually sexy. Huh. That sounds like the prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from keep your weapon. Okay, I'll help you. Sharp. This place is full of surprises. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. Past, future. If he told you to find me, he must have had a very good reason. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. But still sexy. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. A man named Menemarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Baal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Yeah, baby, I'm coming. <laughs> no, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. We need to make our way through the Ashen Mines to get to the enclosure where the Prophet's being held. It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Yeah, that's pretty much... Regular old Elder Scrolls game. How the hell did he do that? Oh yeah, double tapping forward. Okay. The graphics look nice. Considering this is an MMO. But like I said, I don't play MMOs. I didn't play a lot of the other Ashen Elder Scrolls game. And um, I, you know, except Skyrim, don't have a lot of experience with this series, so uh, don't expect sort of professional level opinion opinions about this. Um, this is sort of a blind let's play from someone who, you know, like I said, sort of a noob at this. Hello, where are you? Can I, uh, excuse me for a second there, lady. Do I have subtitles? <laughs> nope. No. So sure. What is this? I don't know. Not, no time to find out. Let's get some of these details up. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I don't know um, a lot about dub. Okay, I seem to have gotten a friend request. Ah. Dude, I just killed you. How the hell? Okay. One gold. Let's go. I think two panzerification. Two is the character. Guys, level. You are close now. 
Tower of Eyes. Two is the guy's level and Panzerification is his name. We made it. So I'm now sneaking. I'm sneaking, no one else is. supposed to do let's just follow the waypoint marker Skyrim style I don't think it's a bad idea that they decided to make this be more like Skyrim widely successful and I have to get away from that explosion at the end of their you know um, it was widely successful it enjoyed a huge audience people bought it can I get hidden here yeah, not really Get away! Yep. Oh, I got something. What is Maple Ice Staff? Damage 9, level 1, value 7. Yeah. Not really interested in that. Where am I going? Optional, talk to her. Come. The Sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. Yep. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blocked. Oh, cool. All these creatures have like one gold. Yeah. I want to Come. do the optional. The the magical How can we destroy it? No idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. Brute force. Yeah. yeah. Be ready for anything. I doubt Mola. Okay. So I talk to her. What towers? I'm a bit. Because the waypoint markers show me that I have to go. Okay, so. What? This guy's dead? I don't have a petty soul gem. Sorry, buddy. So it's not that way. Above. Okay. Above being there, or above being there. Got this. Uh, let's go this way. Hey, man, that's not cool. This area is fantastically large. And so far, although I'm not playing the game at a very high resolution uh, for the purposes of this recording, 
it looks really nice okay quickly while he's blinded we must get to the prophet's cell okay god of brutality knows of your escape hurry he knows of my escape bring it on bastard Come on, come on. Uh, not just nope. Taking the long way around. Uh, yep, I've learned my lesson. I'm backing up. No, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> this is actually fun. The only problem I have with the Elder Scrolls Online project is their decision to have. To have you pay, you know, an initial purchase price for the game, 60 bucks, which is normal, that's the price of a game, and then they want you to pay an additional 15 bucks per month. That's a bit much. Why is that thing glowing? It's supposed to be dead or something. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. The Cadwell is the oldest of the soul shriven. After years of torment, soul shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. Mad as a box of frogs. Let's go. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. I was born by the river. In a little hut. Or something like that. I don't remember the lyrics. Yeah, I'm not looking to get into a lot of combat. I'm really interested in... Yep, here's the guy. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Yes, quite. You must be Cadwell. Ho ho ho. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. How do we get through all of that? Rather cautiously, I expect. How? Oh. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. They got John Cleese to do the voice of this guy. I'm wondering whether he will be a character that appears further on in the game, because if the only interaction you have with this character is here at the beginning, that's a waste of Mr. Cleese's abilities, because he's a fantastic actor with a long history in comedy and drama, and he should be given a bigger role. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven, of those who didn't go fear all that. Is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. Ah, Lyris, girls as mad as sheer Gorus and Jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. 
How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. An imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. Now this is interesting, the use of the words in Imperial Gentleman. Double meaning, he's an Imperial, as in the clock, the, you know, in-game Imperial, and Imperial as in he carries himself with uh, an Imperial elegance. That's fantastic. I hadn't actually given him much thought. Anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? Interesting. So, it's this way? Oh, cool weapon. Or attack, or whatever that was. Uh, no, it's not this way. No idea where to go. Entry undercut. Hey, hey. Baby, what you doing? Why? Without me? Having fun? Maybe it's this way. Is that guy? Is that? No, that's the guy with the... Mm, yep, the... Undercroft. Undercroft? <laughs> Under Lara Croft, yeah. Okay, bad joke. Yep, here we go. So far, so good. Traps. I don't like traps. And everything's empty because I'm guessing... Well, I'm not guessing. I know people have been around here. What? Okay. Cool. Left me alone and went for the other guy. Yeah, I could explore this place a little bit. Should I? Shouldn't I? Uh, I'm kind of thinking there's no point. Everything seems to have been uh, picked clean. Uh, there's no loot. I doubt I'll find any interesting, you know. What are you doing? She's reading a book in the middle of this. Ah. Nice that she can keep things together so well that she can read. Man, I hate these traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, same thing as in Skyrim. The companions that just... You try to get them to go around the traps but now no, the their their preferred direction was through the traps and getting impaled ah uh, who cares yep managed to make my way to the prophet's cell and i'm guessing sort of everyone's the seeing the same thing just ahead quickly now we haven't much time that makes you feel a little bit less special. <laughs> All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. No, baby, come on. It ain't that bad. I can clean myself up, put on some nicer clothes, take you out for some dinner. Don't have to walk out on me. Don't give up on the love. I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't 
don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Bal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. Okay. Let me just say this. This is very predictable and pointless at this point in time. I have not had any contact with these characters for a sufficient no, I, I just met them. I don't care about them. I don't care about the Prophet. I don't care about her. Lyris Titanborn. I've just met you, what, 15 minutes of gameplay before? I... Why do I have a... Sort of this dramatic moment where she has to take his place and I'm supposed to sort of... No! Don't do it! Why? I don't care about I mean it's nasty I wouldn't wish this to happen on you know a friend of mine or someone that I met but I understand why she's doing it it's her quest this is the bad part of what I've just played this doesn't feel like my quest I just had a guy tell me dude you need to find this chick and she'll get you to me and the chick is telling me now okay dude I gotta do something but you gotta go help that guy that's basically the story so far and it feels shallow it's poorly written I don't have any relevance in this story where am I where's my character I mean I don't want it to be specifically designed for my character because that would be very difficult to do for all of the possible permutations of in the character creation that someone might choose but I would like to have some connection to what's going on other than I'm playing a game and this is what the game is telling me to do because that's this isn't very involving so far there are magical locking devices on either side of the cage you need to deactivate both of them so i can begin the yes transfer. i get to push the buttons done, yeah the standard stuff go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection damn she's tall i mean i never what is my guy damn it but no, I take that as a challenge Maybe we could have some fun in bed baby <laughs> I can do some things with my mohawk what the what is this this looks really cool I want this as my front door at my home. Welcome. Abandon all hope. Abandon all hope, all ye who dare enter here. Dredrick, anchor. Okay, and now to push the button on the other side. That's what I do, I push in the buttons. I don't do a lot. I'm not good for a lot, apparently. Come on, dude, roll. Roll with it. Return to Lyris and observe the exchange. Oh yeah. I give myself that the prophet might be free. And the game is taking away a pretty cool character in Lyris. The there was something to her that made her interesting, and it's giving me back the old dude. In shitty clothes. With saggy face. Dude, I don't want you. Give me the chick back. She was fun. You're not. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that at least. There is sacrifice everything that we might wish that were possible. But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together. Vestige. Vestige. That is the name I have given you. Dude, I have a name. It's Weekend Slice. Is, that is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. You've got amnesia, Years motherfucker? And you expect me to follow you if you have okay. amnesia. We must make haste oh man, this 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 writing is poor. The anchors are daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards cold heart. Okay, where we're going? We're going Everything's above. There's nothing below. Hmm. 
sounds like uh, some pretty poor... I don't know, I find this to be... like I like the gameplay, I like the atmosphere, but the story... Uh, where am I going? Okay, this way. The, the, the story so far is pretty... Dude! What are you doing there? I mean, he's blind. But stairs! You know how to use stairs! Follow me! Take my hand! Lyris at least knew how to walk! Oh god. Yeah, they need to redo this entire part, I think. Everything is empty. The insects fight back. Yes. Amusing. And yet, so I'll amuse you, you bastard. Hey, if you want to be amused, go to weekendslice.com. Join us on the YouTube channel. Read our Twitters. Twitters. Read our tweet messages and join us on Facebook. the combat's not that it's good but it's could be better I don't want to dodge then Medusa goes down clash of the Titans rip off I'm joking, it might not be any ripoff at all, it might be a part of uh, Elder Scrolls lore that I don't know about. Dude, this is where we're supposed to be? Like up here? Nope. Where? This is. This looks like it, come on man. The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. Lift but me first, up. But first you yourself to nerve. In order to regain your physical form, to do this, you will need a shard of ethereal magic that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to. Okay, give me the sky shard. Let's get high. Where are you going? Can't you shard summon the sky shard up there? Come. Now and anoint us with your blessing. Anoint us with your blessing. Come on, I don't. There, quickly, collect the sky shard. Uh, why? What's the quick part necessary for? There's no one here. You have discovered the sky shards. The sky shards are sh are scattered across the lands of Tamriel. For every three sky shards, your character will gain an extra skill point. Oh, that's cool. Hence, the sky shard locations can be found in your achievements journal. Yeah. Sounds nice. I have to talk to you. Again. It is time. Yes, act reach. quickly. First, Let's go. Stop shouting! Dark energy emanating from two devices on either side of me. That's me farting. Activate both devices. I will begin the ritual that will pry open the jaws of oblivion. Haha, <laughs> product placement. Escape. How about I morrowind some of the oblivion to Skyrim? There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same location. Fear not! I will find you again when the time is right. I don't... I now actually don't want you to find me. The Send me back the chick. She seemed like a much more interesting character. You suck. Deckard Kane ripoff. I mean, you've been in every single RPG ever made, dude. Just go away. You're boring. That's the problem with this beginning part. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Oh, by the way, I don't look anything like this guy. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let, Let you go away and bring back the chick. <laughs> yeah. Hurry! This is supposed to be some sort of momentous, dramatic situation, but yeah, I'm not feeling it. Uh, it's a bad intro because it's 
you know, if this were the intro to Morrowind, fine. The intro to Oblivion, yeah, okay. I mean, it's very similar to those, and that's a problem. You have this as an intro that has been done so many times in the history of gaming that it's not even funny. Okay, so I'm on a boat. Looks like it. So what? I'm now in Morrowind. So I'm a prisoner, like in Oblivion. That has is that has escaped to the prisoner uh, side story or whatever you want to call it, starting story of Morrowind. And what? I'm going to wake up with my head to be chapped off, as in about to be chapped off. How do you know all those things? You are you just arrived there. The voids between worlds was both chaotic and violent. It deposited us in Tamria, but some distance apart, and quite unceremoniously. Yeah, I fell on my head, like literally. That's the best. You you don't remember what happened because you fell on your head. Why has your voice level just went down? I didn't change the volume, he's just speaking all of a sudden much quieter. Uh, I cannot listen. Not yet. But we will meet again. Those yes. Remember, the ages of Molog are hidden. Where should I go first? By a crew of miscreants and scoundrels. But I sense no true malice in that. They spoke of a leader called Kelly. She appears to be the captain of this vessel. It seems likely that she is either on board or very nearby. Are you going away now? Uh, that's cool. Increases maximum health, adds seven. I don't get it. Adds. 7 maximum health but then increase maximum health by 4 uh, what? oh if I'm healthy so it's a it adds 7 permanently but if I'm healthy it increases overall by 11 so 4 on top of 7 yeah I'm not sure uh, do I have any points? Nope. I'm sick of this island, Colleen. I should be in Betnik, visiting my people. Uh, okay. Think, Lamor. How will we get there without a crew? I am your crew. I have zero experience, but I'll do it. Okay, guys. This is it for the first episode of the Elder Scrolls Online beta experience of uh, someone who has not played a lot of the Elder Scrolls series maybe, I don't know, 30 hours in total throughout Morrowind, Oblivion and Skyrim or no, 40, I think, 40 hours in total and also someone who doesn't actually play any MMOs at all I hope you enjoy this, and if you have, come along for the ride and see what's going to happen in the next episode. Have a good one. Goodbye.